property owners say they are fed up with the freeloading tenants who refuse to pay. Evictions are still backlogged post-COVID. And the I-Team Cynthia Gould looks at the process that many say has gone off track. The eviction starts with a knock on the door. Tenants at this Adamsville home ordered to leave. Their possessions all moved out to the curb. This day, a long time coming, too long, according to property owner Judy Smith. It's heartbreaking, really, because, you know, you, you work hard and, you, and you, per, you, know, you purchase something and then somebody tries to take it away from you for nothing. The last rent payment in June, a bad check. So how much are you owed? Uh, $10,000. On top of that, she's had to pay the mortgage, insurance, taxes, and attorney fees. The system is broken for property owners. Smith's plans to make a little side money backfired. A lot of stress. A lot of stress. I have two options, go with property management or either sale. The I-Team heard the same thing from other landlords. Even with a court order, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office so backlogged 150 to 200 cases, it can take months or more than a year to get the keys to your own property. Most of that is attributable to the fact that there simply are so many evictions in the system. We only have four district court judges. Neither the court system or the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office could provide us official numbers for current evictions in process. The Sheriff's Office is short 50 deputies and said it could not shift more personnel to eviction work. In Alabama, evictions are known as unlawful detainers. There is a very detailed set of laws that um, landlords do have to follow. And it starts with a landlord issuing a valid lease termination notice. No resolution, the unlawful detainer is filed in civil court. The tenant has seven calendar days to respond. A trial is set. Then a judge determines if the owner can take the property back with a writ of possession. Then they must wait for the sheriff's office to set a date to execute that order. No changing the locks or cutting the power before then. We often have landlords who are are essentially trying to jump the line, sometimes because they just don't know that they do have to wait for that process to play out. But that play out a growing burden for property owners like Smith. Now, Cynthia, the governor signed the new squatter law today. How will that affect evictions? It should speed up this process, but the language says law enforcement is to remove those parties as soon as possible, not a specific timetable. The bill sponsor, Representative Craig Lipscomb, says they put, may put a little more teeth into that law coming up next session. All right, Cynthia Gould reporting.